Hey, 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 Aries. Sorry about that. Uh, my phone shut off, the camera shut off, so this is part two. Uh, you have the, your twin here, right? And again, you be the judge of that, whether or not someone is your twin flame, okay? One of two things are happening, all right? Either one of the two people that you may be meeting in 2024 is your twin, and you recognize that, Aries, or you are dating two people and your twin comes out of nowhere and you're like wow I have to take a leap of faith I've never felt this before I'm just going so you're you know ixnay on the two people a eh? and you're out of there because your twin is here now what's challenging you is the two of wands this is that vision right I feel like what's challenging you is the vision because this twin comes out of nowhere or the awareness of the twin comes out of nowhere and you're like, oh my God, my vision has changed, right? I have to leave the past behind. My vision's changed. I need to look forward to the future with this new person, with this new idea, right, of twin flame energy. So let's clarify this two of wands energy. Now, some of you may also be moving. Maybe this person lives far away and you're deciding where you're moving. They're moving to you, you're moving to them, them, whichever one. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, so what may be challenging is this new love, this new perspective in love, right? Commitment in general right uh, really letting go and not holding back when it comes to this person really expressing and being who you are right there could be um, you know money situation that you're worried about but I don't feel that that you have to be I just feel that that's a worry and you're trying to save every penny for whatever reason maybe you lost a job and you're looking for one. I feel like you'll find one if that is the case, okay? So I wouldn't worry too much about money, right? What you will worry about is commitment, right? Possibly marriage, if this person wants to marry. So what's in your subconscious is the Eight of Cups. Okay, so walking away, walking away from these other people that you will have in your life and that's the truth so it seems like you have other people in your life and for a lot of you this twin comes out of nowhere so it's a third it's destiny it's fate that knows this too and I feel like this is why you can't choose it's like it, you're calling your twin is calling to you you're calling to your twin this is sitting in your subconscious it's like fate is waiting to emerge right from the depths of your soul because it's sitting back there so walking away from these other two people is something that you unconsciously already know that's why you can't choose between the two of them because you're like no 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 I have to wait there's something there's something I need to know before I choose little do you know that the third person twin or not comes out of nowhere and you have this immediate connection where you know now, it may be difficult to let these other people go, of course, because you do form an attachment with them and everything changes so rapidly, okay, but you will let them go. I can tell you that. Now, sitting um, in your past, in your recent past, is the Empress. So, this may be a Taurus, a Libra, or a Virgo here. So this may have been somebody in your life. This may have been for some of you, uh, the mother of your children. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Let's clarify this. I feel like you are in a relationship with this person. You have the Knight of Cups, the Magician, and the Chariot, okay? You were in a relationship with this person. And I feel like you thought that this person may have been a Libra. That this person was your destiny right so I feel like you've done a lot of reflection regarding this person 
Hmm. You may have even been married to this person, okay? But I feel like, yeah. So somebody may have stepped out of the relationship with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Uh, it, it's funny. What I'm getting here, the feeling that I'm getting here is everything was perfect, right? Every, you, couldn't, you couldn't have asked for anything more. Uh, you may have been thinking about marriage if you weren't married to this person or you were literally married to this person and you manifested them. You, you were manifesting a lot together. You were moving forward together with that chariot, okay? Okay, so Aries. Did I call you Cancer at all? If I was calling you Cancer or any other sign, pay attention to the sign I'm calling you because it may be one of these signs that are coming in. Okay? Because that energy has to be around for me to mention it. It doesn't mean it's not an Aries reading, okay? So always pay attention to that. And any reader, I feel, with any reader. Okay, so the Nine of Cups, okay, is in your future. So it does look like your wishes are going to be fulfilled. This is also having your cake and wanting to eat it too, right? That makes sense with your overall energy being juggling too. And the third coming in. So you're really going to be happy. <laughs> Aries, you're really, really going to be happy. You have the world card, the queen of pentacles, and the star card. Okay. So with the star card, there's a lot of healing that you're doing. There's a lot of sifting through your life, Aries, that you're doing. You may be going way back, doing a lot of reflection. And I feel like you're clearing, could, be, could even be clearing karma. The wheel of fortune in your subconscious is karma, right? So this may also be emerging from the depths of your soul. A new beginning is what you seek. This person that comes out of no, nowhere may be at a distance from you. Maybe a fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. We do have Capricorn here, Aries, with the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn is always coming up in your reading. So it could be a Earth sign, yes, but this is Capricorn here, right? Eight of Pentacles. So there is something that you may be trying to master when it comes to work. I feel like you're trying to build a nice nest egg. That's what I'm getting, Aries. For some of you, see, I'm, I'm feeling that cancer vibe again. For some of you, I feel like you've got this cancer vibe going on.